So fuses are used as a safety measure to protect against high currents that might arise if there's a fault in the appliance. And just to recap, if the current gets too high, then this thin wire inside the fuse will get very hot and melt, and that will then cut off the live supply to the appliance and make the appliance safe. And this is a, an important safety measure which can prevent fires, um, especially in the house. So the problem with fuses is that they tend to be quite slow to cut off the supply. It takes some time for this, uh, this bit of wire in the fuse to actually melt. And this can be a problem, especially if, um, if somebody has got an electric shock let's say, and they, they need that supply to be cut off really quickly. So instead of fuses, we can use uh, circuit breakers. Now fuses are or used to be used in household uh, electricity supplies. And instead of the fuse box, which you might find under your stairs of old houses, um, we can replace that with circuit breakers. Now circuit breakers come in two forms and we'll be looking at a circuit breaker that's called a residual current residual current circuit breakers circuit breaker there's no wire that melts what happens is that if we can say a little here's your supply let's say you've got a 240 volt supply this is your live wire this is your neutral wire and let's say that uh, we've got a circuit breaker a residual current circuit breaker which is in the circuit and it monitors the current that flows in the live wire compared to the current which is coming back along the neutral wire 240 volts now if there's a difference in that current then the circuit breaker will switch off the, there's a little switch in here, it will switch off the uh, live wire and disconnect the appliance. Now why would there be a difference in the current? Well let's say that you are connecting your hairdryer but for some reason you got an electric shock from touching some part of the hairdryer. So some current has actually moved off the live wire into you. In uh, getting an electric shock and so what the residual current circuit breaker will detect is that there is more current flowing along the live wire than is coming back along the neutral and it will then cut off the supply this happens very quickly so here's the flashcard on residual current circuit breakers let's complete it some circuits are protected by residual current circuit breakers RCCBs for short and they operate by detecting a difference in the current between the live and neutral wires. Describe two advantages of RCCBs compared to fuses. Well, the first advantage is that residual current circuit breakers are very fast to operate. Squeeze that in there very fast to operate and this can be critical if you have uh, an electric shock situation you need to disconnect the electricity supply as quickly as you can other to avoid serious injury so they're much faster than fuses which take a bit of time the second advantage is that they are much more sensitive they are more sensitive so they can detect very very small changes in current and that means that if you've got an electric shock or if there's a fault in an appliance then it doesn't take a different a much of a difference of current for that circuit breaker to switch off the supply so it's more sensitive to faults cool so that's residual circuit residual current circuit breakers compared to fuses and two advantages well worth remembering Let's pop those. Oh, well, I'll just, there we are. We've got an arrow. 
going down to the two advantages. And I'll see you in the next flashcard.